Mike Reed in the studio, and on the line with me is Chris Gianetti. Uh, she's with the Energizing Education. You're program manager of Energizing Education, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. How are you doing? Uh, I'm very well, thanks. How are you this morning? Fine, thank you. Good. Now, Energizing Education, it says here, is a program under the United Way of Jackson County to promote literacy among early grade students in Jackson County. Yeah, you verify that for me? <laughs> oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> yes, I can verify that, yep. Um, we've been around since 2012. We actually started with a, uh, a grant from uh, Consumers, Ener- and Consumers Energy who uh, really came together and, and came to some community leaders and said, okay, you know, we want to do these $125,000 grants and for our 125th year, and, uh, you know, what do you guys propose you do in the community to make things better? And so... Um, Ken Toll, who was the CEO of United Way, he had gone to Schools of Hope, which is in Grand Rapids, and saw this a, a variation of what we're doing with energizing education in action and said, we'd like to do this. And so they funded us for the first year. And so in 2012, we started with Frost Elementary. Ah, wonderful. So uh, it's, it's all about getting kids uh, to... Um achieve grade level reading milestones yeah and and in the beginning that's really what we thought we all were going to accomplish was that you know we were going to put this program together where we got mentors from outside the community to come in meet with students k through two who were struggling readers who were not you know at their grade level and work with them so that they could learn to read so that they can then go on and read to learn for a lifetime but we found a few other things that went wrong with the program. We started, in addition to um, recruiting the mentors, we also started doing family nights. We did one family night a month at the school and invited not only the kids that were in energizing education, but the entire school and their families to come. They're themed events, and they're themed around literacy, and so we take the parents off to the side for a little bit to talk about the importance of literacy and how they can help in really kind of neat and cool ways that are, that are not that hard, you know. And then um, we and, and then we you know work with the kids on an activity, and then we bring the families back together to enjoy some food, but to enjoy some activities together that are all centered around le- reading, just to kind of really promote literacy. And then on top of that, you know, we had all these mentors coming in from businesses and just all walks of life. And one of the great things that happened were that the the, um, the relationships that they made that we hadn't necessarily really thought about that. And you know, they see the same student twice a week, a half an hour each time, and what really developed was something really special. And what we really noticed was that it wasn't that parents didn't want to help their kids learn to read or they didn't, you know, they didn't care. They cared and they came to a lot of these events. And what the kids need was an, an extra buddy in school to help them uh, reach these levels. Uh huh. So how important is it that kids are able to read proficiently at an early age? Well, you know, honestly, if they never really learn to read, then they can never read to learn forever. So everything they do from this point on, whether it's math or social studies or anything, is all based around reading. And so if they never master those skills, they always remain behind. And they're more likely to drop out. They're more likely to go to prison. And we are really about helping to make Jackson a better place by creating some, you know, real uh, viable citizens who are able to work in the workforce. What we know from our workforce partners is that they'd like to see kids have a, a reading level of at least the eighth grade, if not higher, when they go higher when they go to hire them. And so we think this is a big collaboration from our community to all work together to get our kids reading on level, so they can continue to learn and grow and and become viable citizens. Uh huh. And do you see success so far? Yeah, so we're in our, you know, this 2015-16 school year will actually be our fourth school year. So we, like I said, we piloted at Frost, and now we are in seven schools. We are in um, Arnold at uh, Michigan Center. We're in Grass Lake at George Long, and we are in the um, early elementary program, uh, elementary school at Northwest, and then we are at four JPS schools. We're at Bennett, Cascades, McCulloch, and now... Still at Frost, but their school has changed to a third through fifth, so we're piloting a third grade program there. So we have seen um, this year alone, the, this past year, the kids who are in the energizing program on average raised 6.5 levels of reading, which is pretty significant. Wow. And so we're really, you know, these mentors are really helping you see kids to catch up um, out of the 141 students that were in the program and the 152 mentors that saw them. 
49% of them reached grade level um, within the time period that they were in, in energizing education. So we're sending a lot more kids off to the next grade, um, able to read at level or fairly close, and so they're not starting off as far behind. And a lot of them will be in the program again this year if they were in it last year, as long as they're um, just K through two. Excellent. So, um, what uh, what special uh, plans have you got for the upcoming school year? Um, so, this upcoming school year, we're actually opening our three new locations. So, we'll have a, an opening now at McCulloch. We'll be opening at. Um, uh, uh, we'll be at McCulloch and Cascades, which are new, and then, like I said, we'll be piloting this third grade program. So, uh-huh. um, you know, we're we're on the hunt right now for mentors, and we are a fully grant and uh, donor funded program. So, if people are interested in donating, um, we certainly have avenues to do that to help us with the books and the programs and 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 all the facets of EE. And then we are really, really looking for mentors. So, the more mentors we have, the more students we can reach. And like I said, we had 152 mentors last year. So we'd love to double that number if we can, what with us being in seven schools now. So that's a big growth for us as well. Mm-hmm. Ambitious. Now, you, you mentioned uh, Consumers Energy and their grant uh, pretty much starting off the whole thing. But you receive support from throughout the community. Who Can you mention some of those other supporters? Yeah, you know, if we had a two-hour show, I can mention everybody. <laughs> but, you know, initially, we got started with, um, you know, with Consumers Energy and the United Way, and the United Way has continued to be a funding partner as well as our fiduciary. But in addition to that, we have had um, support from uh, uh, Jackson Community Foundation. We have had support from the Cradle to Career. We have had support from Industrial Steel, Bernard Levy, the Dawn Foundation this year. Um, we also have continued support from consumers. Um, we have had also a lot of business uh, support from Royal Adhesives to the to the Rotary to CP Federal Credit Union um, and the Wendy's Corporation. We have had uh, you know, just a, a, an enormous amount of support, whether it's either in the Jackson um, County ISD with some in kind support. We you know we we've really seen our community step up and a lot of businesses wanting their their employees to be able to have the opportunity to come and mentor so they they allow their employees to take those two half hours a week and and still you know be able to use them during their lunch hour or get paid for that time to come over and and help the students and and our mentors have passed along you know the information and so you know we've been able to get out and talk to a lot of people as well and we have a couple of realtors um, who are going to be mentors this year and so mm. it's really stressed throughout the community. That's that's interesting. So energizing education has become a part of the United Way of Jackson County. Uh, in what ways do you see that as a as a good fit? Well, as our fiduciary and as our partner, United Way has the uh, capability to reach the community in ways that we probably could not have done on our own. Um, they have a lot of uh, partnerships and collaboration with community entities who are working with folks like we are, who are willing to partner with us to help get that message and help us find mentors. Um, so, you know, we're really working on education and income, uh, financial stability and um, health at United Way. And so the, it, those are things that we we have going on at, in energizing education as well. We have we have kind of, you know, uh, mirrored their image and their mission as we are working towards the same goals that they are. And, and that really helps when you're, you know, you're out there in the community when everybody's collaborating and talking about the same thing because we're trying to reach the same results. Mm-hmm. And that really is viable citizens in Jackson who are working and who can, you know, really make a living and, and, and give back to their community themselves. That's terrific. Now, I attended one of your events not too long ago. I believe uh, it was one of your events uh, down at the Michigan Theater for movie yeah. night. Yeah. Yes. Now, uh, so you have different activities and, and so on. And what are your personal favorite activities? <laughs> Well, I have quite a few of them, but we, we do a different family night every month for every school. And at the end of the year, we then get together and um, we do one big school event that's held at the Michigan Theater. And so this means we invite all the schools to come and all their families to come. So we have, you know, upwards of 1,200 people there. And 
so that one is a big favorite of mine because we usually pick a favorite book and then have a, a theater c- company come in and, and act out the book. And it's a really good experience for a lot of folks who don't get to the theater and things like that. But a lot of our family nights are a lot of fun. I, you know, a big favorite of mine is the big game night where we talk about reading directions and relaxing and playing together and how that all ties into literacy. And we have, uh, my staff at AE has made some big life-size games of like Connect Four and Operation. And so that that's a really fun night. We have a chocolate night in February that's really 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 a, a good time the kids actually make real candy bars uh-huh now i understand of course volunteer involvement is a big part of the the program uh, what's involved in volunteering for energizing education and how can people go about doing that sure so we survive on mentors and volunteers and you know the more mentors that we have who come into the school twice a week uh, or, or once a week, some split kids. Um, so the commitment is a half an hour um, each week or an hour each week. We really prefer for the same mentor to come twice a week. And they also uh, are committed for a year. Um, so they may see more than one student if their student graduates and reaches uh, uh, grade level. But we ask them to stay with the, you know, the same school in the same, in, in, for the same year, and they get an hour and a half training by a literacy specialist who really talks them through and gives them a lot of tips and help on being able to be a mentor. And then when they get to the school, they, there's a site coordinator in each room because our EC rooms look very different. They're very comforting and cozy with um, couches and chairs and all those kind of things. And so they um, they get this hour and a half training, and then they meet with the site coordinator, and they fill out a, a lesson plan every time they come. So it's very, very, um, very simple to do, but very, uh, you know, uh, there's, there's a reason that we do it and, and watch what's happening between the mentors and students so they can grow. And, and so that's a big opportunity to, to mentor. And if you've ever wanted to be a mentor and make a difference, you know, we don't have you come in and cut our circles. You really are reading with your student every week, the exact same student, really making the progress that you can see. It's, it's very measurable. And then we also have these family nights where we need as much help as we can get. We especially encourage the high school kids if they have to the hours that they need to do to give us a call. And, you know, we'd be happy to have them come in and, and work a few of our family nights because we can meet as many volunteers and and the great thing about it is that we do give you an orange T-shirt that you get to wear, so everyone gets one. And <laughs> um, and, and that's really, you know, that's all there is to, to mentoring. It's just really being willing to make that commitment to one child and, and seeing it all the way through. Well, that's just terrific. And uh, we're running a little short on time, so uh, just in the final moment here, can you briefly tell us where people can get more information on the program? Absolutely. Visit our website at energizingeducation.org. So that's energizingeducationjackson.org. All of our information is on there. Upcoming training dates, what schools we're in, how to connect with us, and, and how to reach us in, in every way possible. So I suggest that you do that or like us on Facebook and, and reach us that way as well. So we, we have our Energizing Education on Facebook just as Energizing Ed. So either way, um, they can connect with us or they can call me at 841 841- 2148 at any time and i'd be happy to um, call them as well and call them back to give them information well thank you very much chris we appreciate you, all your hard work and we appreciate your talking to us today yeah thanks for letting us be on we're very excited about this upcoming year once again i've been speaking with chris gianetti program manager of energizing education